you know, about a month ago, we launched our third annual month of ministry. We recognized the Indy 500, it's grueling for everyone involved, and it is such an opportune time for us as a ministry to love and care and serve this community, starting out with the GP, all of practice leading up to, of course, the running of the Indianapolis 500, and that is a big, big season for us. In a number of ways, we are there present each and every day, loving, caring, serving for this community. We've also got some exciting things that happen. The Lone Star JR Award. It is a peer nominated, a peer voted award for those serving behind the scenes, the mechanics, the safety personnel, the officials, all of those, you know, as a way to celebrate them. And so this ministry not only provides food and a meal after the pit stop competition for all of those within the paddock, we also hand out this trophy. It comes with a thousand dollar check for the winner this year's winner was uh, an incredible recipient um, who, you know, he, um, it was very clear that he is the one that should have won, Gilbert Swafford, who was one of the mechanics on Alex Pillow's car. And so a big congratulations to him. But, you know, as again, as a reminder for, for those of you watching, as a part of this community, if you partner with us financially, you are a part of providing that. You know, you're talking about guys that go all morning and all day without eating. And then all of a sudden, you know, there's this incredible buffet of food for them after the pit stop competition. So thank you for partnering with us. Thank you for being a part of that. A part of our month of ministry was also to raise $50,000. Now, now the reason why is we um, want to start this family care initiative. We want to be able to care and serve families at a higher level. Um, generally during the race season, that's when things go wrong at home. That's when the struggles happen. Kids get sick, the water heater blows up, cars break down. And so as a ministry, we wanna be able to step in and love and care and serve these families, especially while the guys are busy and they're on the road. I think um, that's a great way to show the love of Christ is by loving and serving families. And so we had that and then we also wanted to order Bibles. You see about 15 years ago, we handed out Bibles as a ministry, and there are still guys today that carry those Bibles around. Now, they're pretty beat up and tattered, and, and of course, over 15 years, we have a whole new community of people. And so we want to do that again. And so the hope was to raise around eight to $10,000 to have our own Bibles printed and be able to hand those out as a bridge to help get our community into God's Word. And I couldn't be more excited to say, we did it. You did it. You guys stood behind and you partnered with us we were able to raise $49,767, which is something to celebrate. We couldn't be more excited. In fact, we are still waiting for a few more things to come in, but um, at the end of the day, God provided. And so that's gonna enable us to care for families. And we've already been given some opportunities to step in and fill the gap there. Um, the Bibles, they are in process. We're getting those ordered this week. It is gonna make a big difference within our community. And so those of you that partnered with us this May, thank you so much for being a part of it. We did it together. It is gonna be awesome how God uses that to change and impact lives and point people to the love of Jesus. So thank you, and we can't wait to see you at the races.